Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some good old Pokemon Nuzlocke daily at it. And we're gonna go fight, uh, we're gonna go fight someone. We're gonna go fight the Ghost Gym. I was about to put Wong up front, when that's a bad. We're gonna put Kid Fisto in the front. Because this is uh, what we like to do around here, is that Kid Fisto fights all the gym battles. Uh, it's the Ghost Gym. It's not on purpose that Kid Fisto fights them all. It's that Kit Fisto ends up being the number one needed Pokemon in every single uh, gym. Jesus Christ, Ping. Oh, wow, and level 16. Oh. Well, anyway, if you end up liking these uh, Nuzlocke videos, remember to always leave a like, comment about how you feel about recurrent going. We're pop popping off early. We're seeing, at this point, I'm almost positive that Kit Fisto can... Solo every gym by himself. <laughs> Obviously he can't solo the dragon gym, which I think is the one gym where I'm gonna have to actually think about... Hey, what am I gonna do when I get to the dragon gym? And the answer is, I don't know. I didn't expect to make it past the, the second gym. Uh, past the rival battle, so here we are. Pop popping off on ghosts. Because they're poison types. And they're super, they get super fucked up by uh, good old Magnitude over here. So, that's fun. I'm having fun. It's honestly really funny how strong Kid Fisto is. Damn, big pop popping off. All over Ghastly. He was paralyzed and he still went first. It's because he has a quick claw, but I like to think it it's the force. The force is what's guiding him. And can you only imagine when I actually figure out how to make him into a golem? He's gonna be unstoppable. No! It didn't affect Kid, Sp Kid Fisto, because Spite can't hurt me. Look at him avoiding Spite until the point where this Ghastly's just like, what if I hurt myself? And he did. Oh, tiny pop pop. He takes pity on this Ghastly. Leave my presence. I hope that doesn't kill me. No, I think Chris just deals a little bit of damage, right? I'm unclear what you did with that curse. I'm already cursed. You can't curse me more. What I can do is pop pop all over you. Which is what I'm doing. And currently working. Fantastically, by the way. Die, Ping. Ah, uh, well done. You totally just rocked my world with uh, Geodude and nothing else. Alright, we gotta go get our boy Kit Fisto. Healed up. Oh man, I'm really lucky that, um, what other gyms can he not take on? I mean, after this gym, I think it's actually, it's gonna be tough, because it's, um, we're gonna be fighting gyms that are, like, actually can hurt Kid Fisto, like the Steel Gym. The Steel Gym can hurt Kid Fisto, but I guess we can check our, let's see, yeah, Ghost, and then it's, Fighting Steel Ice Dragon. That's what that guy is, right? I cannot for the life of me remember. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. Alright. Here. Oh, why are there so many? So many old people for me to fight. This isn't even an old gym leader. Oh my god, this woman. You have no grace. This Kong has a funky face. And Kit Fisto's here to pop pop all over you. I forget what. Kit Fisto has a curse, sure. It's not doing anything though. Especially since you're about to die in one magnitude. Yeah, pop pop. Damn. Level 24. That should... He should be a... No, he's not. Hmm. What does Curse do? Why does... I think I have to look this up. Just because they've used this so many times and I have no idea why they're using it on me. If it's not gonna work. I think it's supposed to deal damage, but it's not dealing anything. Po Pokemon... Curse. 
Uh-huh. Let's see. Uh, effect. The user will lose half its maximum HP, round it down, and put a curse on the target. If the user has less than half its apex of remaining, then it will uh, execute fully, but it causes the user to faint. A cursed Pokemon will lose one-fourth of its maximum HP at the end of each turn. The curse will remain until the Pokemon switches out or the battle ends. This move is not blocked. Okay. One-fourth, huh? Hmm. Fine, I shall tell you the secret of the invisible floor. The path is right before your eyes. What the fuck does that mean? I spring the string with my Pokemon so we were following winter and then spring came and we had lived together for a long time. Thank you, old man. Is your name also Ping? Jeffrey? You can't have a sage named Jeffrey. And I'll give him this. These Pokemon are getting tougher to the point where I feel like uh, if anything did happen to Kid Fisto, we would be in deep, deep sushimi. But thankfully we got... Ooh, tiny pop-up. I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah, that's not enough. We, we, there's the curse. One-fourth. Magnitude seven. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're dead. Yay! God, Kid Fisto, you're so strong. Jeffrey. Leave my set, Jeffrey. <gasps> yes! Hell yeah, Kid Fisto. Dum, 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 dum. Graveler! Your Kid Fisto evolved into Graveler. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what your stats are now, my boy. <laughs> Sorry, Justin Evans just commented, give me your squirt girl quote, Wokey2020. I did say that in a previous episode. <laughs> Defense 69. Nice. Fitting. Teleport. Thank you. Alright. Time to heal up our boy. He did just take a little bit of damage. I'm not gonna have him fight. Not at full strength. Ah, oh, man. Things have been going pretty smoothly. Except for the fact that I did lose Jotaro. It's like the only thing that's really gone bad for us. Man. Just goes to show you, the Pokemon you do lose are due to just the unexpected. Like, I just can't expect to be on my game 24-7. That reminds me, we need to train up, um, after this, we need to, after this, we need to do a training arc for, uh, Jolene, because she needs to get super strong if she's gonna fight Croconaw, uh, for us, or for the rival battle. So, that's something to look forward to. Hey! Hello, old woman. Oh, Medium Martha. Hmm, it's a very common name in my family. Go Kid Fisto. Magnitude. Ha, huh, you can't spite me, fool. You're already dead. No, that's... Mm, he's gonna be able to spite me. Tiny Pop Pop. Not a good debut. What? Uh, you know, I'm thinking... No, okay, he should be dead from that. That probably before I go in there, I am going to give him some kind of Paralyzed Berry, just because it seems like a lot of these ghost types sure do know Lick and nothing else. Here's another thing I'm actually kind of afraid of. I think this is the gym leader that has Shadow Ball. And Kid Fisto is strong, no doubt about it. Not He's not good at special defense, though. He is not built for a psychic battle, is what I'm trying to say. Hauntar! God, Hauntar, I love your dumb face. Am I crazy or was Lick not affecting us before and now it is affecting us for some reason? Well, maybe I am crazy. I'm gonna check to see if Kid Fisto's <laughs> typing has changed from a rock ground type. Ah! I lost. Paliper! No, he has a quick claw, that's right. I should have plenty of paralyzed stuff, though. 
I think I want to prioritize um, speed over paralysis, actually. What's the worst that can happen? Is that I'll occasionally not make a move. Which is the same as flinching, in essence. Mm-hmm. Heal me up, nurse. Nurse it lady. Nurse Joy. I always wondered what's up with the NPCs that just hang out in the um, Pokemon Center. Like, do you ever leave? I want a Pokemon game that is similar to Animal Crossing where all the people are constant and you just meet them throughout the, um, the region, <laughs> no matter where you go. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna save right here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Now, let's fight. Here in Eurotech City? No, Eurotech City? Yeah. Okay. All my life as well. I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I can see the future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon. Okay. Bring it on, bro. Justin Seven's comment because it's literally stopping me from being able to stop the episode if I so wish. Okay. Morty! Pickles. Some kind of pickle joke in here. Sorry, I got nothing for you on that front. I just realized I've been using the wrong background this entire time. Silly me. I mean, I like the whooper background, it's just that I feel like it's better when it's all blue. Because, you know, Whooper is meant for gacha games, not Pokemon games. Now we're going to start this with a Pop Pop. And that's an insta-death. Alright, level 26. No. Okay. I was hoping he was going to learn, try and learn, um... I was hoping he wasn't going to try and learn self-destruct. Okay. Now here's a problem, because now I need to start... Um, magnitude would pop, pop popping off hardcore. From this point on, I can no longer screw up any of my pop pops. Nice. Very nice, Kit Fisto. Keep it up. Keep up the pops. Keep up the pop pops. Because I think his last Pokemon is Gengar? Oh, that's bad. That's Nightshade. That deals damage equals to the level. Oh, please, Kit Fisto. Don't fail me now. After this, I'm going to have to use a Super Potion or something. Alright, last Pokemon. Yeah, it's Gengar. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm going to use a Super Potion. And hope that he also uses Nightshade or something. There's the curse. Ugh. Ooh. Okay. Oh god. Please pop Bob hard. No! I needed at least a... It's not gonna be enough to one shot. If he hits me with Nightshade, I'm dead. So... And if he doesn't pop up in the proper amount, I'm dead. This is actually very bad. Because I was hoping that I would be able to switch. Okay, Kid Fisto, I need you to go first. Okay. I need you to hit at least a big pop. Yes! <laughs> Alright. Crisis averted. Oh my god, that was scary. That was a terrifying match. Kid is now level 27 and far too strong. What? No. Yes. Stop trying to get hard, Confisto. You're already hard. Mori was defeated. I'm not good enough yet. Oh boy, dude, you could have fooled me. That was a. That could have gone very bad at the end. So, what was the move you knew? Is it Nightshade? Uh huh. I wanted to know. Seraph will be able to use a Surf move now. Okay. TM30. Is it Nightshade? What move did you have, sir? Shadow Ball was Shadow Ball. And I'm glad you never used it, because if you had actually tried to use Shadow Ball instead of Hypnosis, I would probably do it. I got real lucky on that one. Whew. 
once again, Kid Fisto coming in with the clutch save. Now, unfortunately, that is going to be basically the end of the Kid Fisto run. Because starting from the next gym, it's going to be the first one where it's his actual um, weaknesses up front. So, it's time to start training, everyone. So, that's the end, to the, the, the end of today's Nuzlocke. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys for the next episode. Goodbye.